Deacon Americanas, the last time I saw you, that was gonna come back meaner, better, and a whole new attitude. Look at me now. I'm no longer standing in my own father's shadow. I'm coming out. My father was a great wrestler, but I'm a better wrestler. And since President Fidel Castro has been sick and his future doesn't look too gloomy, his brother Raul would never be as a great president as he is. So now I chose a whole new image of persona to look to, a whole new hero for me to look to. And a guy that just is simply the same, if not equal, to President Fidel Castro. And I'm talking about another than that great evil president himself. <laughs> George W. Bush. That's my new hero from here on out. New attitude, new look, and right now, it doesn't stick in matter who's in the ring. I don't stick in care if it's the man I express. I don't stick in care who it is that gets in a stick in ring. Anybody that faces a Cuban assassin, Richie Acevedo, they're gonna learn to respect me. <laughs> Viva la Cuba! <laughs> now I'm gonna show you what I'm all about. <laughs> Well, fans, our second contest featuring the Cuban assassin versus the Kamikaze Kid. Kamikaze Kid new to Apex. This is his debut here in September to this member. But the Cuban assassin with a new look, a clean-cut look. He is a veteran not only to the sport, but at AWA Apex, a three-time tag team champion. But having his words at ringside with the fans who are all over him as usual for his uh, pro-Castro, pro-Cuba views. And the Kamikaze Kid, who I've seen before, is an outstanding athlete. Uh, who is he is everything his name lives up to be. He is a Kamikaze. I mean, he will fly through the rafters. He will flip. He will flop. And he has that great lucha libre style. Going against the Cuban assassin, collar and elbow lockup, and the Cuban showing the decided strength advantage early on, saying that he's nothing. And the crowd is livid here. Kamikaze Kid, welcome to the American Wrestling Association. Of course, the Kamikaze Kid I saw in that lightweight championship tournament in Burlington last year. Duck underneath on a full arm drag. The Cuban delivering those blows into the the shoulders roll over back cartwheel and a reversal kamikaze kid now he's laying those blows in on his own as the kamikaze kid puts that deep arm bar on the Cuban assassin and the Cuban, he looks a little worse for wear here. Picks him up, shows that strength. Beautiful fireman's carry into the reverse, just as we said that he was on the underside. What a great second generation grappler showing his skills. Of course, going back to his roots, going back to those grappling roots. And the Cuban looking uh, good now, going to town, going to work on that arm. Of course, the Cuban, a second-generation wrestler, like we said, his father, the original Cuban assassin. He's kind of got away from the those molds of his father, kind of took out, taking on his own uh, his own persona now, if you will. But it's still an accomplished grappler as the crowd getting behind the Kamikaze Kid. Wrestling action, September to this member. Reversal, Kid with a headlock. Headlock takeover. Beautiful, beautiful. Cuban rolled him over for a pinning a combination, but Kamikaze remaining in that hold. Yeah. 
jockeying for position. Fires him off. Big, big tackle by Kamikaze. Drop down in front. Going for the hip toss. Reversal. Kid off the rope. Drop down again. Leapfrog. This kid's quick. Beautiful arm drag. There's the speed. Another deep arm drag. This kid can go. This kid can wrestle. Kamikaze kid. And the fans are loving it. Dropping that knee in. Spinning. Trissing himself in midair. Putting more focus on that arm. Arm bar now. Ace of Vito back up trying to work to his vertical base. Taking his opponent into the corner. Has a handful of masks it looks like behind uh, out of the view of referee Eric Costin. Delivering those forearms, those punches. You can hear him here in the booth. Big turnbuckle. Falls him in. Catches a boot of his own. Kamikaze down. Clothesline. Putting Richie down. Another big clothesline by Kamikaze. The assassin, Richie Acevedo, back to that hole. That's a mark of a champion. Back into that arm drag. The kid has impressed me here in his debut in September to this member. Claiming that he pulled his hair at the halfway mark of this bout. Giving him a knee for his trouble, backing his opponent in. I mean, this wily veteran, as good and as quick as this kid is. You know, Acevedo's a veteran. Big boot, put his head down, and a clothesline of his own. And a stomp, and now he goes to work. And this is where the Cuban is the most dangerous. Right here, going to town. He's got his opponent down and prone, wore out. Going for a suplex. Big, big suplex. Shot now, Viva La Cuba. Two, one, two. Almost a three cut, but he didn't hook a leg. You've got to hook a leg here in the American Wrestling Association. Making his opponent carry his own weight with that rear chin lock. Not only does he have to work from the down position, but he also has to carry his opponent's weight. He's got to get himself up to that vertical base. The fans rallying behind him, and that's exactly what he's done. Laying those elbows in. Hey, so he put his head down now. Sunset flip. One, two, it could be. No. Boot to the midsection. Small package inside cradle. One, two. Oh, I thought he had him right there. Driving his man back to the corner, using that momentum. Climbing up now. Calling for the approval of the fans. That might be some wasted time. Laying those punches in there. Reversal, going for the double sledge, rolls him up, this could be a one, two, oh, I thought that was it, I thought that was it right there, and again to the buckle, another charge catches him that time with the clothesline, follows him in, going for that suplex again, drop behind, drop behind, what's he going for here, another kick, setting him up for a maneuver, Big, big DDT. This could be it if he can follow up, get that pinning camp on him. But he's setting him up for another move. I, I disagree with the kid in that, in that predicament. I, I believe he should have went for the pin. He's given too much time. I know he's all about high risk. And if he can capitalize on this. Big spin, beautiful move. Nobody home. Nobody home. Both men down. Both men down. Kamikaze kid with a beautiful maneuver. But Acevedo managing to get out of the way. Scoops him, slams him down, saying that it's over. Now the Cuban assassin, Acevedo, going to the top rope. He'll come off, maybe going for that Cuban Missile Crisis. If he nails it, it's up. And there it is. There it is, the Cuban Missile Crisis. And there you have it.